as you can see here, the caterpillar shed its skin. So this is how big it is compared to my hand. So they are probably in fourth or third in star. And I realize a little problem here. The leaves are starting to dry up. I do have some water, a jar of water with some mesh so that they don't fall in it. Two have already fallen inside the water. So I had to cut up, <laughs> alright this is hilarious, alright so two fell in the water and they I thought they were drowned. I got them out quickly and they did not drown, they're actually still alive. So I put saran wrap so that they wouldn't fall in the jar here. But that's how they fell in. So, I took a window and I cut the mesh so that insects don't get in. And I put it there. Then I had to replace the whole mesh. My parents got really angry. So yeah, make sure you ask. And the worst thing is I had spare mesh that I could have easily used right there. Instead, I was freaking out. I mean, I thought my caterpillars had drowned. I just took a window and I cut a big circle in it. <laughs> but it's all fixed. So, the thing is, these leaves are drying. So, I need to get some more leaves. But, I don't have the same species of leaves anywhere near here. In fact, where I found them was actually an hour away from here. And since my parents have to work, I don't really have a way to get there. But I want to try and experiment and see if these caterpillars can change their food plant quite easily. For example, let's say they have this maple species. The leaves look like this. I'm wondering if they can change maple species quite easily. Because I do have a maple in my backyard. So yeah, I'm going to go get some leaves and see what happens. Here I have a different species of maple than what the caterpillars are eating. You see, they're eating this species. See the difference in the leaves? But these leaves are starting to dry up. And where I got them is an hour, an hour away from here, and I don't really have a drive, so I want to test out, see if they'll handle getting a change of food plant. See, so I'm just going to put it in the jar and see uh, if caterpillars come and eat the leaves. Alright, so the leaves are in there, and I'm going to check back in about one hour, and if there's nothing there, well... I'll go away, I'll leave them, and check out in another 30 minutes, so they'll have one hour and 30 minutes to go on these leaves and start eating, which I think is probably plenty of time. If there aren't even any caterpillars on the leaves, well, I'll wait, because it doesn't mean they don't like them, probably. It just means they didn't get there. That's, at least that's how I see it. So, if I see bite marks and rosy maples... I'll be very happy because I have this in my backyard, this species. I can just get it real quick when they dry out. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so a rosy maple moth caterpillar right here. This is a leaf from my backyard. It's a different species from the other maple leaf. But it's really subtle. I actually ate a little bit. You see like this little thing here, that little half circle? See if the camera's gonna focus. Alright, the little like dent here. That's actually the caterpillar who ate it. But now she's going away, so she might not even be interested. I don't know, it's kinda strange. It ate a bit, then it went away. Maybe she's not hungry. Or maybe she just doesn't want to eat maple leaves.
well, this species of maple leaf. Because once a caterpillar hatch on a certain tree, usually they stay on the same tree. So that's why I'm kind of worried because these leaves are drying it. So now we're away from here. And it's kind of inc inconvenient. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. This caterpillar kind of ate. So my experiment kind of worked. Just ate a bit though. You can see this tiny little bit here. Tiny little hole, then it's going away or something. It's just hanging out right there. So yeah. That was a cool little experiment. I'll see if there's any more caterpillars who start eating these maple leaves. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Alright, so Memo Falls is far away from where I live. But the good news is, close to where I live, I found the same species of maple leaves. Maple tree, should I say. Now, usually they stay on the same tree for their whole life as a caterpillar. But this one is eating, as you can see, on the tree from the place where I live. So close to where I live. And that's a good thing because... It means I don't have to travel as far, and I can get refills on leaves much easier. So the experiment worked. It didn't work with a different species of leaves, but it works with the same species of leaves. You can see this one is also eating. So yeah, that's my right, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.